Lately, I've mentioned permutations and combinations, and I've solved multiple problems on them. But what are they? Let me show you. You might recognize this formula, but frankly, it's a little too confusing and clunky to understand. So let's break this down and understand what permutations and combinations are. Permutations are the way of ordering a group of objects, while combinations are the way of choosing a group of objects. Keep in mind that for permutations, the order matters, while for combinations, the order does not matter, as all we're doing is grouping the objects. Let's take an example. Suppose I have these two cars, this orange car and this blue car, and I want to arrange these cars. Let's start by finding the number of permutations or the ways that I can order this group of cars. I can either arrange these cars in this way, where the orange car is first and the blue car is second, Or the blue car can be first and the orange car can be second. In this way, there are two ways of arranging these cars. As you can see, there are the same cars, but I simply switched the order. Now let's find the number of combinations in order to arrange these cars. The number of combinations would only be one way to arrange these cars. Because remember, the order does not matter. So these cars can be in this order, this order, or even on top of each other. Since the order does not matter, all we have to do is group these two cars. And since there's only one way to group them, there's only one combination. Let's take another example. Suppose I have these three marbles, this white marble, this light blue marble, and this dark blue marble. And let's say that I have to arrange these three marbles in groups of two. Well, how many permutations would there be? Let's find out. I can start with my white marble, with the dark blue marble, the white marble with the light blue, the light blue marble with the white, the light blue marble with the dark blue, the dark blue with white or the dark blue with the light blue. As you can see, there are six ways to arrange our three marbles in groups of two. Because remember, the order matters. Well, how many combinations are there? I can have the light blue marble with the white marble, the white marble with the dark blue marble, or the light blue marble and the dark blue marble. As you can see, there are three ways or three different combinations. Well, how come there are six permutations but only three combinations. Again, 
That's because here the order matters, while here it doesn't. Let me show you. If we look at our permutations, we can see that there are some sets that have the same marbles, but that they are in different order. For instance, here we have a light blue marble and a white marble. Here we have the same marbles, but here there's a different order, where the white marble is first and the light blue marble is second. So let's put all the sets that have the same marbles, but are in different order together. I can move these together. Like so. As we can see, in these two pairings, they are the same marbles in different order. Similarly for these two and these two. So we can see that for these two permutations, there is only one combination. For here, the order matters, but here it's simply a grouping. These marbles can be in this order, this order, even on top of each other as long as there's light blue and white blue marbles together. Similarly for these two, and finally for these two. Today we've explored and understood what permutations and combinations really are. And tomorrow, we'll use these definitions to solve some example questions.